and you can say hi to Ken. Sure. Hi, Ken. It's Jamie. Hey, Chef Jamie. How you doing? Welcome back. Hey, Ken. Thank you for having me back. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm doing well and healthy, and I hope you are the same. Hanging in there, doing the best we can in these crazy, yep. crazy times. So, <laughs> oh, no doubt. How's it going down there in L.A.? Is it, uh, is it still nice? It's, it's been mighty hot down there, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, and, you know, we still have June gloom, and mm. um, so it heats up in the afternoon. Um, huh. But we're, you know, we're cooking and coping and cooking and coping as well. I have a, a new son, a new baby boy. I was so, just gonna say, um, you have a newborn, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Needless to say, it has been crazy times. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, still the, food, still the food keeps coming. Here we are coming up on July 4th, and we're, I know we're talking about uh, food, but we're also talking about some pre-mixed cocktails, huh? There's a trend in that, isn't there? Uh, there is no doubt, and you know me. I mean, I, I will sip and savor no matter what. Uh, my beautiful blessing is something to toast, uh, and so we say cheers to that. Yes, uh, the pre-mixed cocktail trend is continuing, and when it comes to fun summer sippers, Smirnoff has three offerings that are really fabulous for at-home summer enjoyment. So, of course, there's the classic Smirnoff number 21, Triple distilled, 10 times filtered, great, you know, mixed into a cocktail or chilled. Then there's the new Smirnoff Ice Zero Sugar in a bottle, which you chill it down. It's delicious. And then my go-to is the Smirnoff Seltzer Red, White, and Berry. It's perfect for July 4th. It's ready to drink straight from the cooler. Cherry, citrus, blue raspberry flavors, but with zero sugar and only 90 calories. Part of the trend is the innovation. Super cool because the can changes color when you chill it, which I think is just so fun. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's neat. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally that's, fun. I'm going to be checking that out then. Do we find that in the, <laughs> um, the refrigerated sections? Where do we find those? You, you'll find that um, in your, you know, favorite uh, grocery store, liquor store, otherwise. No, in the alcohol uh, section where you would buy your okay. favorite sipper. Um, yeah, it comes okay. in a case. It's in a can. All right. There we go. That makes sense. All right. So we've got the drinks. Let's talk about the food. So what do you, uh, you what's on the it. grill in the kitchen this morning? Or oh, <laughs> or everything's on the grill. Uh, you know, I'm a girl at the grill. So when I fire hmm. up the grill, everybody gets hungry. And I try to have a, you know, pre-prepped or made ahead appetizer or a snack so that I can, you know, relaxed grill to my heart's content. So I make this skewer up using fresh melon because the honeydew and the cantaloupe this season have been so sweet and fresh mint from the garden and a slice of Kentucky legend ham. Now I'm a ham lover. Uh, the ultimate ham sandwich can't be beat, right? But Kentucky legend I've always loved. It's the nation's number one natural juice ham. It's double smoked, it's really moist, and it comes pre-sliced. So it does make an easy dinner. I think so many of us are looking for, you know, a quick go-to, tired of cooking. You just heat and eat it. Uh, but Kentucky Legend comes in lots of different sizes, lots of different flavors. I love the brown sugar the best. And the skewer has that sort of, you know, briny, juicy, yummy ham to contrast the refreshing melon. I do a little mustard vinaigrette over them. And they're just so good. I mean, you don't think you don't think that uh, that, that ham and Fourth of July go together very well. But you know, what what does it matter? You know? No, but but it sort of does. You know, like I meet so many ham lovers. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're looking for other things to do with it, right? I use it yeah. for breakfast. Uh, I use it as a sandwich. But if you haven't thought about pairing it with summer fruit. Uh, it's it's really the perfect pairing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. So yeah, let's really move delicious. on. From, let's move on from that to uh, we've we've got the main course. We got the drinks. How about something for dessert and the sweet tooth? You got it. So by the way, I make a side dish off the grill. The main course yeah. is everything. Oh, yeah. You know, you're grilling all the protein. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. I make a side dish, a summer tomato and olive bread salad. And mm -hmm. it has grilled bread, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions. It's like a side dish and a salad all in one. And it uses Pearl's olives. Those are the black olives that I know from my childhood. I put on my fingers, right? I still love uh -huh. them. They're in my pantry mm -hmm. all the time. 
And they're 100% grown and packed in sunny California, where I come from. So I love that. You can see and taste the difference with pearls. And then when it comes to dessert, as you mentioned, uh, there is an incredible innovation that's going, um, well, it's going on now because it just hit supermarket shelves nationwide. It's from Silk, the almond milk company. It's the first ever dairy-free heavy whipping cream. It's plant-based and it whips up like dairy. So dairy lovers are celebrating because they can finally have whipped cream again. And you could layer it with strawberries. You could make Silk's layered red velvet flag cake. Uh, you could make strawberry shortcake with it. You can even make a cream-based soup with it. It's keto-friendly, dairy-free, gluten-free, zero creams of sugar per serving. It's very genius. And if you know wow. anyone dairy-free, you want to tell them. That's good. And that you'll find in the refrigerated sections. So that's Exactly, good. yes. That's... With, okay. with the rest of the dairy, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. There we go. Anything else? Any other good tips for uh, for uh, grilling this summer or ent entertaining this summer? What have you got? Uh, of course. I'll share my best chef's tip. If you don't have a great grill brush, Ken, or maybe, you know, last summer you threw yours away figuring you'd get a new one, I have a yeah. really cost-effective way. You don't have to replace it. Take a big sheet of aluminum foil from whatever you covered, you know, as you were marinating the chicken, and don't throw uh -huh. it away. Waste not, want not. Roll it up into a ball. When you're done grilling, scrape it over the grates. It is a great abrasive, and it substitutes every time for a grill brush, and it's my great go-to. That is a marvelous tip. I didn't. Even, I've never thought of that. <laughs> usually, usually, I mean, what do you think of those those um, covers, uh, those kind of cooking sheets that they put on grills these days that they've been advertising on TV for, yeah, for a few? You know. Yeah. yeah, to every griller, to their own. I'm, you know, I'm okay with whatever it is you choose, but I happen to like directly on the grate smoke and yeah. sizzle, and I'm willing to clean it up. That uh, that uh, aluminum foil trick, uh, I have to say, it works wonders. I will remember that. I th I think I'm going to toss that sheet away and just start doing it back on the grill again. I like the idea of the, the foil. I didn't even think of that. That's marvelous. So, uh, Jamie, where do we find out more about all of this? Well, of course. So uh, head on over to dailylounge.com. Uh, we've posted all the recipes. Please follow on social at Chef Jamie Gwen. And if you're looking for more chef's tips and tricks, chefjamie.com. Ken, I always love talking food with you, and I thank you for having me. I wish you a safe, healthy, and delicious holiday weekend. Likewise to you, too, and your, uh, and your newborn. You. So uh, take care, and we'll talk thank again. You. Thanks, Jamie. Take okay, care. I look mm -hmm. forward to it. You got it. Okay. Bye now. Bye-bye.